If you started fletching your own arrows and you're having trouble getting your veins to stick, there's a couple different reasons for that. Trust me, it's not you. I started fletching arrows a while back. I tried six or seven different kinds of glue. I tried different kinds of primer pens, acetone, and I was still having trouble getting my veins to stick. Right now I use AAE Max Stealth veins. And I found my solution on how to get those to stick. And I do use a primer pen, but also I use 100% acetone. You can get this from the dollar store. It's pretty much the same thing inside of these pens. Now this acetone from the dollar store is actually 100% acetone. These primer pens are anywhere from 10 to $16 a piece. So they're pretty expensive. That's why I started using this acetone. I use a Q-tip. It's real easy to use. Press down a little bit and it fills up the cotton on the Q-tip. And I'll just go slightly over the vein. Let that dry for a second. I already have my arrow in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get an arrow fletched and show you guys where I'm going with this. I like to use my magnifier glasses. You can see much better. So I'll just go ahead and put a couple dabs of glue. Maybe four or five little dabs of glue. Doesn't take a whole lot. And I'll use my Q-tip. And I'll just go down through and spread out the glue. Nice even thin layer. Takes a little while to do this, but it's worth it because makes a nicer job and helps your veins to stick a little bit better. All right, so we got the glue on. And we'll let that sit for about 30 seconds. One of the problems I was also having after I was done fletching an arrow was you have that ugly white crap after the veins would dry. And you can see it up along the vein. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix that too. Trust me when I say I've tried many different kinds of glue. I've tried Goat Tough. I've tried Loctite Super Glue. I've tried the Tack Glue. BSI Glue. It's one of those things that if you're going to be fletching your own arrows, you just gotta experiment with the different glues. All right, so this is probably ready. And once I'm done fletching my arrow, I'll grab some accelerator. BSI makes a good one. What it does, it helps the glue to adhere to the arrow a little bit better. It's not a bad fletch, but you can see right here, got a little bit of glue protruding out from underneath the fletch. And it's just ugly. I'll just give it a spritz on each side of the fletch. Once I started experimenting with this accelerator, I found that it works on just about every type of glue you can think of when it comes to fletching arrows. I'd recommend using any kind of an accelerator if you're going to be fletching arrows because it cures the glue faster and it keeps it from turning that ugly white. And after you spray your fletches when you're all done, it just gives it a real nice finish and it looks super clean. I'm by no means sponsored by any of the products I showed you guys. I just wanted to show y'all what I use, what works for me, and explain a little bit about my process on fletching arrows. Have a good one. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and please subscribe. See you later.